So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I am going to show you how to import Excel files from a folder but this time we're not going to use the connector, the folder connector well, we are, but we are using this combining it with Excel workbook and I'm going to show you why in a second so uh, let's, let's begin so I have here two Excel files in a folder and what we want to do is import both of them into Power BI. I have a Power BI file here, it's a blank one. So we're going to go to get data and more and then we're going to use folder. This is where I have the files. You just navigate through them and then I have the sales January and February as you saw. And uh, when we use the folder um, connector, here we get uh, some metadata from the files and here is the contents of the file. So to expand this we would need to, now I have the file open, that's why you see let me show you. You see, you see three uh, rows because I have the file open here. So let's close that up and do a refresh preview, and that disappears. Okay, so we do have two files only. So to open the contents, we would go in there, and then they are all on table one. We click OK, and look what. Power BI does. I just find this so horribly messy that most of the times I just import them one by one and do an append because I don't want all that stuff in my desktop. But there is another way to do it. So let's do that. Let's combine M with uh, the folder connectors. You will see what happens. We start a new one. So you can see exactly how it is imported. Click on get data and we click again on folder. So we're going to use that. Here we paste the path to the folder. And here we have our two files. So let's click on edit. And for these, the only thing we want is the content column. So that's the one we're going to keep. We'll remove everything else. It will be, it will make it easier for you to see what happens. And now we're going to add a custom column. And in here, we're just going to write Excel workbook. And we add content. Okay. And look what happens. Uh, I'm going to expand everything so you see. The only thing I want is um, this custom data or, or this data. Let's remove the custom so you can see. So the only thing we want or I want in this case is the data column. This will give us the name of the contents of the Excel files and what is the type sheet or a table and then if they are hidden. But I don't want all that. The only thing I want is data because that's the one I will use to expand. And here you can see that it expands everything directly without all this stuff in between. Now, as you can see, it does the same as the folder um, content pack uh, or connector. It doesn't promote the headers. To do that, you have to actually go back one step two steps and in here you have to write true expand the column and now you see I got the contents of my file in here which is quite nice something that I always do or I usually do is to keep the name of the file. 
because when I do that, you know, you can see sales January, sales February. Of course, I have a date here, so it does not matter. But sometimes it's useful to have the file name together with the data if you want to do some specific filtering for any reason. So you can do that. So once you expand everything, you just remove this one and then close and apply and you get all the data with all, all these functions and folders and all that kind of stuff that gets added. And the last thing we're going to do is when we expand the data, we don't want to have a special name. We just want the column names as they are. And now you can start doing some analysis. So uh, a better way to import Excel files from uh, in from a folder into Power BI. So uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. So have a great evening. Bye.